New video shows the moments leading up to a deadly crash on the Palmetto Expressway. Now you can see a car getting on the Palmetto Expressway driving the wrong way. NBC6's Heather Walker joins us live with the new developments. Heather? Yes, that video is part of the evidence in the case against Mikey Simeon, who was in, well, he was supposed to be in court today, but he was a no-show. Still, he pled not guilty to five counts of DUI manslaughter. In this video from Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office, you can see what the prosecutor's office says is Mikey Simeon's car entering the Palmetto, going by a box truck. You can see him whizzing by other cars as he gets on. Court documents say he was going 80 miles per hour and his blood alcohol was almost double the legal limit. Less than a mile down on the Palmetto, a second camera at a car dealership shows the moment of impact. We're choosing not to show it out of respect for the family, who tell us they were not warned that the video was being released. The sister of Brianna Pacalagua told NBC6 she's upset, saying, quote, we weren't really prepared to see that, telling me we just heard it was leaked and out of curiosity and concern, we watched it. Could have helped more with closure if we were prepared to be shown it by authorities, end quote. That exit ramp has multiple signs to let people know it's an exit, that they're driving the wrong way. However, the state has recently added wrong way detection systems to some exits that not only light up when someone starts going the wrong way, but also alert authorities. FDOT is now looking to see if one should be added here. Simeon remains behind bars tonight. His next move, he'll have to decide whether to take a plea deal or go to trial. We'll continue covering this case. Reporting live in Miami, Heather Walker, NBC6 News.